And so that moment, I decided, you know what? Fuck this. You are overdue on fucking intimacy, love, and everything else. Fuck it. Because at this point, um, I was done with my husband. Didn't care what the fuck people thought about me. Didn't give zero fucks whatsoever. And so, you know what? I hung out with this tall, beautiful black man. And I had the best time of my life. And I swear, like, um, when I was with him, it for me, it just... I felt like I freed myself. I felt like I was trapped somewhere. And I know that, you know, mentally you're trapped, but sometimes some good sex can bring you out of that shit and fucking wake you the fuck up. Like, wake the fuck up. And that was a moment where I woke the fuck up and I knew that I deserve love. I deserve affection. I deserve good intellectual conversation. I deserve a man that fucking smells good. No salt taste. I deserve it the fuck all. And that's when I cheated on my narcissistic husband. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Gabriel coming back at you with a, another video. Lord willing, this video is edifying. To the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel and those seeking learning in truth and in sincerity. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakodash. And um, so I was uh, I saw this video um the other day, and I was just taking a look at it. And I actually I came across the original video on Instagram, but for some reason, I couldn't find it anymore. I couldn't find this woman's page. So I just decided to take this uh, take this reaction video of a, of a Eve woman. Uh, name, her name is River TV. And uh, basically what she was doing is a reaction on a video of this lady. I guess this Eve, I guess she has a podcast or... Uh, you know, one of these internet talk shows or something like that, right? And basically, she was talking about how she cheated on her husband on their vacation trip to Mexico. So, um, there's actually a few parts to this. It's like five parts or six parts to her story. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I just wanted to play the part where she, you know, she admitted she cheated on her husband or committed adultery on her husband with another man while they were on vacation. I'm just going to summarize the beginning. The beginning was she um, basically they got down to Mexico. This is according to her story. Um, they got to Mexico. Her husband was upset with her and didn't want to talk to her. And, you know, she said, you know, they slept in the bed. He put a pillow in between them. And uh, she was feeling alone. She was feeling like unloved, didn't feel like she had, you know, affection, all of this stuff that she just mentioned there. And she met a, I believe, a Jake, um, so-called black man while she's on the trip, while she's on a vacation with her husband in Mexico, and she had sex with this Jake, right? Committing adultery. You know what I'm saying? And I just kind of wanted to do a quick video on this, bring out precepts, because the way that she talks about this, she talks about it like this was the right thing for her to do. She talks about this like this is something that she should have done. Right. Like this is something that, you know, this man just deserved. You feel me? And the funny thing about it is, is that she never mentions why her husband was mad at her in the first place. Now, using all common sense, a man is not just going to be mad at you for no reason to where he don't want to talk to you. or have nothing to do with you while you two are on vacation. You did something to piss this man off to the point to where he felt like it, or you were doing things leading up to that point, right? You were doing things leading up to that point to 
make that man feel that particular way and you just don't want to address it and you chose to handle it by committing adultery, not trying to work the situation out with your man, not trying to talk to him, not trying to make things right. You chose to commit adultery. And at the end, she calls her husband the nar a narcissistic. She calls her husband narcissistic. But it's really her that's the narcissist, the wicked narcissistic woman, right? And not to say that her husband is a righteous man because the scriptures speak about uh, a wicked woman is given over to a, um, is given as a portion to a wicked man. So not to say that he's righteous, but um, let's go into the scriptures, man, because the scriptures talk about this situation. Right. This is Proverbs chapter 30, verse 20. It says, such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. Right. So this this is literally describing this woman's story or her situation. This woman literally committed adultery, is proudly speaking about it, and she's saying that she did nothing wrong. Uh, actually, the I believe on Instagram, or I believe the beginning title uh, on part one of the video, it says that my husband deserved to get cheated on. And that's off on all kind of levels. That's wrong, off, and wicked as hell, right? So she does what she does, right? She takes part in wickedness and makes excuses and does everything not to hold herself accountable, saying she didn't do anything wrong. And that's exactly what this woman is doing right here. She's saying that she did nothing wrong, that her husband deserved what she did, right? And shame on her and shame on that Jake that that she committed adultery with, right? Shame on both of them because the scriptures speak about this, man, right? So like, yeah, I was getting a phone call. I hate when I put my phone on do not disturb, but somehow phone calls still get through. That don't make no sense to me. But, um... Let's go ahead and carry on with the rest of this, man. So this is the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 25, verse 19. It says, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So, man, if a man is a sinner, right, you're going to get the portion of your wickedness is the wicked woman that you're going to get. Right. According to your works, you know what I'm saying? So if you're out here committing sins yourself, being wicked, you're going to get that same equivalent in the woman that you deal with. Right. So, you know, you also got to be mindful of these things, too. You got to be mindful of these things and what's really going on. Right. So like, yeah, I'm just going back and forth with these scriptures had a few scriptures written down, so I'm not going not gonna to be too long with this video, right? And this is 25 and 23 in the book of Sirach. It says, it's like it's Sirach 25, verse 23. It says, a wicked woman abateth the courage and maketh heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees, right? So her husband, according to her, was in distress. He was distressed. He, you know, wasn't feeling, he was feeling a certain type of way towards her because something had to happen for him to feel that type of way, right? But what does she do? She goes out and commits adultery. She goes out and sleeps with another man instead of trying to figure out What's what's uh you know what's going on with her husband, right? 
This is 25. It says, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liter liberty to gad abroad, right? So really, she wasn't even supposed to be running around on the resort at the hotel by herself or nothing like that. She should have really been trying to figure out what's going on with her husband to strengthen her marriage. But the women, these worldly women, these worldly Eves who are drunk with the philosophies and the wine of Babylon the Great, they're so proud that a lot of them believe that they can do no wrong. They have no self-accountability. And when they do things, they believe they, they try and justify the wickedness that they do. So you got to be mindful of these things. Right. Let's go to Proverbs chapter six. Chapter six, verse 32. It says, but whoso committeth adultery with the woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul, right? Because whoever that man was that she slept with, he don't know what's in her husband's heart. He don't know what's in his mind. He don't know what type of man that is. What if he found out? What if he caught them? What if he may have saw them? What if he came down, saw them getting drinks together? Or doing whatever at the resort. And, you know, what if he came down, hey, swinging with a blade, swinging with some type of weapon, ready to kill somebody, right? That's like, that's like, you know how you see some of these videos of, and sometimes they be skits, sometimes they might be real, but you got Jake sleeping with another man's woman in his house. And that's a dangerous game. To, that's a dangerous game to play. Cause, <laughs> cause if you ask me, if you ask me, shit, I'm gonna shoot both of you, and I'm gonna be like, y'all was trespassing, <laughs> straight up, right? But a man who committed adultery, man, he has no understanding. He doesn't have understanding. Why? Because he doesn't have understanding of what can actually happen to him. And the scriptures speak about this, right? And it says, a wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou givest many gifts. So it don't matter if you try and, because that's, that's a serious thing, man. That's like a real pride and that's a real ego thing, especially with Jake, when you messing with another man's woman. Right. Jake really get in their feelings. Jake really get pissed off and angry. Right. If Jake ever been cheated on before, man, you know, you know how I be. You know how mad you get. You know how pissed off you get when you find out that your woman's sleeping with another man. Right. It's a lot of things that go through your head. And. You know, a lot of a lot of people, they take it there. They take it there to the point where they ready to kill you. Right. And ain't nothing you can really do about it. You can't give them no money. You can't give them no gifts. You can't give them any food. Nothing. Right. He just wants the satisfaction of having your blood on his hands for what you did with his woman. And that could have been the situation with this here, right? So look, let's go to the law. Because this is the punishment for committing adultery. Right? This is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. It says, um, and the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer, and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. So that's the punishment for that, man. That's the punishment. You got to be put to death. Right? Now, we got grace and mercy. But this word is going out now and reaching the four corners of the earth. And we're bringing this thing and we're bringing these things out on YouTube, on the street corners. Right? 
And innately, man, we should we innately our people know that committing adultery is wrong. That's why we that's why when Jake and Eve do commit adultery, they always do it behind closed doors. Right. It always got to be a sneaky link. It always got to be a, a, you know, what's that? Uh, what's that song with uh, In Vogue? Was it In Vogue? Brothers, sisters might know that song. That song with In Vogue, uh, you know, what she talking about, you know, being another man's, uh, you know, being a, a, another man's side piece and being around his woman and she don't know. Like, that's exciting to her. It was a video of a Jake talking about some man. I like I like messing with another man's woman because that's exciting. They give me that. They give me that thrive. And that's off, man. That's wicked as hell. Right? Because if unless you repent, unless you repent of that and stop doing it, you will be put to death. One way or another, the most high is going to catch up to you, man. You can't evade the most high. The most high is always watching. The Lord is always watching. Right? So, look, this is just, you know, a little short video, man. Lord willing, this video is edifying. Giving our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? 